Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to do another Nailed It today. I had so much more fun than I had expected at the last one doing that. And I got a ton of compliments on my little like cherry nails. So I just figured this is a great way to bully myself into continuing doing nail art. I love doing nail art, but I just never ever make time for myself in my day to day because I'm just like, well, if I mess it up, I just wasted all this time. But you know, you gotta do it. This is for a video. So now I have no excuse, right? So what I'm going to do first is just show you everything. I got a little like packet of stuff over here that we're going to use for today's video. Now I'm sure you've noticed my nails are already painted. I used Zoya Brett and um, this is just the manicure from yesterday. I decided to just stamp over it because I haven't stamped in a while and I was talking to one of my friends this morning about stamping and it just kind of got me inspired and like I said I painted my nails yesterday so these are dry and top coated and everything ready to go. So what else do we have here? I've got well obviously we have my nail mat. I have a variety of stampers to I don't know I like to kind of test which stamper I want to use before I really like hard commit and then I have let's see We've got a couple different white stamping polishes, but I think, I really think I want to use this gold. I think that at the risk of looking like some kind of deranged U of M fan, this, it looks a little bit purple on camera, what I'm looking at right now, but this is like a deep navy-ish blue, I think. And then with the gold, you know, I think that would look really cool. We've got our smudge free top coat which is a absolute must for something like this and then um at the recommendation of a lot of you guys i actually picked up the glisten and glow top coat so once the this dries we'll put this on over top of it i have regular acetone in a zoya remove plus bottle because it's easier to like when you have your nails painted and you have to clean off everything with your stamping You've got, uh, it's easier to flatten your hand and like push with uh, some cotton rounds. I have a variety of scrapers here. Let's throw those. Um, obviously, we've got our cleanup brush. I got a new one from Maniology, but I still have my really old bundle monster one. I mean, if you don't know, if you don't know, <laughs> these are actually the same company. Uh, it's just Maniology rebranded as Maniology from Bundle Monster. So this is actually same company. It's kind of interesting, I guess. And then what else? We've got a couple of stamping plates. Now these ones, I don't know if you can tell, it's like bug themed. Something that you probably don't know about me because, oh, hello, it's my phone. Something that you probably don't know about me because I try not to seem like too weird on camera. So I'm like literally so obsessed with bugs. I just think about them all the time. I think they're great guys. And <laughs> I actually collect dead ones. Um, and I'm really excited for the cicada brood to emerge and just start screaming because honestly, same. And then, oh, there's one more thing I need to go get. Okay. The last thing is a lint roller because when you stamp, it gets sometimes on like your outer cuticles and it's, you know, it gets on the stamping head and stuff. So I just use this, roll it over that, kind of roll it around the edge of my nails because I am uh, allergic to latex. So those types of barriers don't work for me. And then I just clean up the rest of my nail with like acetone and a cleanup brush. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I made a little bit of space. I like to line all my scrapers up along the side because there's like a little bit of a lip and it kind of puts it at an angle so it's easier to pick up rather than be flat and like mess up your nails completely. And then I already cleaned off my stamping heads, but I do like to always just give my stamping plates like a preliminary kind of a wipe down just in case there's anything residual from the last time I stamped that I may have missed. Just 
extra bonus step because I love doing unnecessary things. And I like to do just a, a test run because I feel like not all polishes play well with all plates. Not all stampers play well with all polishes or all plates, etc. So I like to do just a quick run and see, you know, what's going to pick up the cleanest. So let me decide first what design I even want to start with. I think let's do this uh, dragonfly type, was it called a mandala maybe, uh, on my thumb. I always start, I stamp on the thumb first because, um, I don't know, it, it doesn't show up in my pictures. <laughs> so let's see. We're going to do the test first. I am a really messy stamper, so bear with me here. Another tip that I learned is putting your uh, plate on a paper towel, and when you scrape, it all scrapes on there and not onto the mat. Like, I know the mat is there to, like, be ex like help you clean up, but this is just another way <laughs> to uh, minimize mess, I guess. And I always learned... Completely cover your design with polish. I'm not sure if that's really the right way anymore, but that's how I learned how to do it. Oh, that is super clean. I'm not even going to do a test run. I'm just going to stamp it on there. I bet you guys didn't even get to see that. So that was a really clean first stamp. Um, so... Now I already know this is the perfect stamper for this uh, polish. Now one of the cool things about like stamping polishes is they dry pretty quickly. So if there's ever like any lifting in your design, I have never had an issue with just kind of like patting it down with my thumb. And honestly that looks super sick. So then in between my stamping, just take this. It's all clean, ready to go again. Now, if you're gonna use the same design on every nail or, you know, multiple nails, um, then you'd have to clean this off. But I wanna do something different on every single nail. So let's see what we should do next. So we've got some butterflies over here, maybe some moths or butterflies. I've got a bunch of like little bugs here, but I'm not sure. Maybe on the pinky we can do something like itty bitty, but having just like a single design, I'm not sure how that would look. Let's see what's on the other one. I think what I'll do is just do these like clustered ones, but they're all different. So I'll put these two on two of my fingers. I'll do one of these butterflies, maybe I'll do the butterflies on my pointer, do the two from the other on these two fingers, and then do these like really kind of delicate moths on my pinky here. So how have you guys been? I'm like super busy lately because I ended up like just randomly apartment hunting a little bit earlier than I had expected to because I want to get out of the trash heap that I currently live in. And uh, I actually found a really nice place. And oh, you can see that picked up really well, but there's a little bit of excess, so you can just pick that off. You can try at least. Um, but I ended up finding just a really good place right off the bat. And I was really surprised. And it was within our budget and so I just kind of bit the bullet and I went for it and we ended up getting it and so there's like a month and a half of overlap between where we currently live and where we're going to move um so yeah we got to pay double rent which kind of sucks but I'm really excited and I've been like shopping way too much for crap I don't need for my new, well, I do need it. This place, all of our stuff is kind of like inherited from other people, mainly my little sister. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
I just never like stayed in one place for all that long. So I just never bought stuff that is like permanent stuff. And then we're going to go in with these guys onto this finger here. But yeah, so I just, um, I've been trying to decide like, what is the aesthetic we want? Where should we shop from? Like what's in our budget? I ended up already buying a mattress because there was this huge sale and it was too good to pass up. So now I have one of those like bed in a box type things just sitting behind the couch that I'm currently sitting on. And um, it's just chilling. It's going to be there for a while and it is really heavy. Uh, but I saved like $600 on the mattress so it was worth it. But I'm going to have to haul that to the new place. Luckily it's kind of compact because it's in a box, but it's like a king size mattress. So it's massive and it's really heavy and that's going to be fun. But it's interesting because I, I don't know, I, ever since I started seeing those like Casper mattress ads where they like pop out of the box and they just like kind of inflate over the span of like, I don't know, like 24 hours or something. I was like really fascinated by them. And then I realized that my current mattress is at least, at least 15 years old. And I looked up what the time frame for a mattress should be. And I guess it's somewhere around uh, seven years. So we need to get back to that. Okay, so for, I said I was going to do the butterflies on the pointer finger. So let's do that. And we should probably wipe this scraper off because if you don't have a clean scraper that can really like hinder your process which is another reason why I like to swipe it onto the paper towel because then you can just immediately wipe it off. It's really convenient. And these uh, Maniology, I know ignore this, it looks like I have like mustard on my hands, but these Metallics by Maniology are so good. Uh, my friend who I was talking to this morning she, I think she just ordered like a ton, a ton, but she was telling me she was trying to uh, stamp with some of her regular metallics and it just wasn't really showing up. And I was really surprised because I feel like I always thought metallics would be really pigmented, but I guess I've only ever really used stamping polishes to stamp with. So I'm glad that I'm bullying all my friends into the hobby because now I have people in my real life to talk to. <laughs> Um, obsessively about nail stuff. Came up pretty well. Oh wow, that didn't, came up pretty well. Can you even see it? Well, I don't have time to be goofing off, as they say. Ooh, so the I don't know if you can see with this one. I'm not doing a very good job of showing you guys, huh? You know what I'll do? I'll bring you guys in. I don't know if you guys can see with this one, but there's like a lot of like excess. So what I'm going to do is try to kind of like pat that down to smooth it a little bit. But a lot of these like little spindlies, when you're done, you just take your cleanup brush and you dip it in a little acetone and it will just dissolve that little excess. So nothing to worry about. It looks a little rough now, but it won't in a minute. And of course, we're going to clean our stamper. See, every time I'm like, oh, I want to stamp, but I'm so intimidated. And then I like actually do it. And it's like, this is the easiest thing. This, this is so low maintenance. I don't know why I was so concerned. I could definitely stand to be a little bit more creative with it, but I am excited that this is turning out. But yeah, so we're moving into a three bedroom and I'm really excited because my boyfriend and I have only lived in one bedrooms together or like a two bedroom with a roommate our entire like relationship and we've been together almost eight years. So we've been kind of always in each other's way, I would say. So we're each going to have our own like designated space. Like, we each get our own extra room, and then we'll have our shared bedroom. And I'm just, like, trying to figure out how am I going to decorate my special room, my special room, and how am I going to uh, 
how am I going to decorate it? And like, how am I going to set up my nail stuff? Because that's, that's the real concern is, you know, how is my nail space going to be? And so I'm really just kind of looking for inspiration. I need a new desk because like the one that you've seen behind me in my other videos, it is just my makeup desk, I guess, it, or that's what it's become. It used to have a computer on there. Not anymore because I got rid of it because I want to build my own sometime soon. But um, I'll probably get, I want to get like one of those big L-shaped desks. So that on like half of it, I can put my like computer setup, and on the other half, I can have all my nail junk, junk, and um, just do my nails on the on the desk there. So if you guys have any good like L shaped desk recommendations or anything like that, I would really appreciate it because everything I'm finding is either like it looks like cheap junk on Amazon or it's just like really expensive for no reason. So let me know your suggestions. All right, so I'm gonna do the other hand and then I will be back and we can clean this up and top coat it. Actually, I might just film it, whatever. Let's just film it. And you can see how bad I am at stamping with my non-dominant hand. So let's just do a mirror image. We'll do the same ones on the opposite hand. So yeah, we've lived in this place for about two years, which is kind of my, like, maximum that I've ever lived in a place, aside from my childhood home growing up. I just move a lot. I like to, to be mobile. And so it's hard for me to stick to one spot. Ooh, this one turned out really well. And so that's the problem with these stampers, though, is, like, they're not, like, they, they have a lot of give, but then they push down in, and I always forget to... Kind of reset it. But yeah, I, I have all these ideas, but I don't want to order like anything until I've actually gotten into the space so that I can take some more measurements. I did tour the the building and all that, but I need to be able to like take some actual measurements and kind of maybe even draw it out. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but like sometimes I just have to draw things just a rough sketch I'm not an artist but that way I can visualize exactly how I want it to look before I make any purchase commitments and waste a lot of money on stuff I didn't need to like for the bathroom I already actually I placed a target order um I got a target red card because I have a friend who he has one and I used to just ask him if he could order me junk with his uh, Target red card. But then my cart got a little bit too big this time. And so I didn't want to be annoying. And I ended up just getting one because it's just a debit card. Like, it's not that big of a deal. And then they sent me like $40 off because I applied for the, the red card. And so then I just was like, all right, well, I better... Oops, sorry, I'm like way out of frame. I was like, I had better just take advantage of this. And then there was like a extra 5% off deal. So I got, you know, 5%, then 5% saved uh, 40 bucks because of that coupon I got. And then I got a $25 gift card from my energy company because they're doing some new test bed rollout. And because I'm a part of it and I take surveys, they give me a little bit of money. And I do love free money. So I did buy everything I need for my bathroom, uh, which is not exciting, I guess. I'm doing like a green and gray theme, like earthy, like my shower curtain is like cactuses or whatever. And I just matched some of the colors. It's not like thrilling. Which one did I do? I did this one on my middle finger. Okay. But I got all that stuff in and... It's really cute. I'm excited. I just want to go set up my bathroom, but I can't until, was it, June 10th is my actual, like, date that I get the keys. And, um, I was really annoyed because Target was like, you know, save a dollar on top of all those other savings. And 
we will send this in as few boxes as possible. And I was like, and they were like, you might get it a little bit later, but you know, it's a dollar off. And I was like, eh, why not? I don't need all these boxes. You know, let's be environmentally conscious. Right. So then I get like five or six different shipping notifications all within 30 or 40 minutes of each other. And they shipped all the stuff in like five or six different boxes. I was like, what did I save this dollar for? Why did you guys pay me a dollar if you were just going to ship it all separately anyways? So I just found that kind of annoying because, I mean, yeah, I saved a dollar. But now I've got like 4,000 packages arriving to my front door. And my boyfriend's going to be like, what are you ordering? <laughs> we, he always thinks it's funny because none of the mail that comes to this house is ever for him because I like to write letters and I like to order things online. And so I'm just constantly, constantly receiving some sort of mail every single day. I don't think once in our entire relationship has he ever checked the mail. He just never gets mail. His family is all very digital, but that is what it looks like. So now we're going to do some cleanup. Let me clean up this area a little bit and then we'll be right back. All right. So we got it all cleaned up and I'm just going to add some of my, where did it go? Oh, I'm just crazy. Uh, my top coat for stamping. This will not mess up your manicure or at least it's never messed up mine. It's like my one thing where I'm like, you got to have this. Like if you're going to do any kind of nail art, you have to have this particular top coat. I'm sure there's others out there, but this one's so cheap, so affordable. And once this dries, I'm going to add like a regular top coat. This just helps to create like a barrier between, you know, the nail art and everything else. So... Let's see, what else is new? So one other thing that I was thinking is that now that my channel has grown a little bit and I feel like this is something I enjoy doing consistently, I might actually start saving up for a better camera because I can already tell the footage on this particular video is not stellar. I'm using my phone and it's just really hard to see because I don't have any kind of a, a viewfinder. I just have, you know, whatever's showing on the phone screen itself. And if I am not using a front-facing camera, you know, how do you see that? I tried, like, casting it to my TV, which is in front of me, and using that. But even that is just, like, it's further away. It's harder to see. So I just need... Maybe something like a little bit higher quality and nothing too crazy. But if you guys have any recommendations on like some good affordable cameras, you know, let me know. And now you can kind of see like the reason why. Let's see. Can we get it to zoom in? This is another. See, this is another reason why I need the, the better cameras because the focus on this is not great. But you can see, you know, this adds a little bit of shine, but it is a very thin top coat. So once it dries down, it's going to be a little bit flatter. And so that's why I prefer to do this and then do a coat of like normal top coat later on. But yeah, I think it's really crazy that I've got, you know, I know it's not a lot in, you know, the grand scheme of things, but... Over 300 subs is pretty wild when I just didn't even expect one person to watch my videos. And I always see like a lot of the same people down in the comments, you know, giving me advice or, or just talking to me. And I really enjoy talking to you guys. I do recognize like a lot of your names at this point, just seeing because you commented over and over. And so I just really appreciate you guys supporting my little channel. I have a lot of fun doing this stuff. And I just hope that I can keep it going. At first I thought it would be really difficult to come up with content every week. But honestly, I have content planned all the way through August. Like I, you know, 
I map everything out early on so I'm really prepared so expect me till at least August right I'm hoping to go through the whole year and see you know where we end up but there we go that is the finished manicure I will post a actual like top coated photo to my Instagram as well so if you guys aren't familiar it is down in the it is down in the uh, the box below in the description box and let me know what kind of nail art you would like to see in the next one and also I have an insane amount of stamping plates that I'll probably never get through so I think I'm actually going to film a stamping plate declutter soon as well so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in and I will see you in the next one. Bye.